used to be being loud, hanging out, making moves all over town. Trying to be cautious, your case of my style. Everybody wanna know what's going down. But that's not how I'm living now. I did a 360, turn my whole life around. Now I room the keys again, yeah, I like how that sound. I wanna know the heaven where the no sit loud. But see, it's like a bird in a chain. People say I'm different since I came out the game. Now they know I'm Christian, so they think I'm a lame. But I don't care because I'm gonna worship your name. All my real life, yeah, Christian, throw your hands up. beauties it is cc approval goddess i am coming to you today uh -oh, with um some diys that i'm doing i actually saw on sharon she's so fabulous channel she did some chargers and she cut hers out of foam board y'all let me push this back because i'm cutting my head off i'm sorry but anyway y'all i'm not talented like that okay so, I already had these um, gold charger plates from Dollar Tree. They are just like this. Um, and so, this is one of them I did. I put the um, stones around them. And so, I'm going to show you guys how I did that. This is one. <clears throat> and I love to change stuff up. So, she did two kinds. She did the ones I just showed you with the gems. And then the other one she did was a blinged out one and y'all i'm here to tell you i thought it was absolutely gorgeous so i wanted to do something along those lines and so i'm going to show you these are the chargers i'm hoping and these are my plates that i use with them so it works out perfectly and these are the regular gold charger plates from dollar tree and so I'm going to show you how I did both of these. Now I'm going to tell you I ran out of this one is the bling wrap from Dollar Tree. Okay. The uh, the silver and the gold. Okay. Let me get a close up so you can see it. It is the silver and the gold from Dollar Tree. And I, um, I'm going to show you how I laid it down because it does take a little talent. You can't just lay it down because the plate is round and the diamond wrap is square and so it takes some work but what I wind up doing I did fold it over so it would give it a more neater um, polished look and so this is these this one is actually heavier than this one because it has the gems on it and so my um, my kitchen is actually more browns and maroons and after i finish doing the tutorial i will give you a um a little kitchen tour um but but it's brown and maroons it's really earth tone but i wound up getting a new kitchen table and so with the new kitchen table how many chairs oh four of the chairs are blue and two of them are brown so that's the blue that you see in here and this is how this looks and i'm going to do four of each one of these and so i'm going to show you the table with both chargers uh, on it i'm going to show you the first take the first uh once i'm done i will show you how the table looks with the ch with both sets on there but anyway i will actually come back and show you this one first so this is going to be an intro to two videos so if you click on the vid the second video this will probably be the icon for the first one and this will probably be the icon for the second one so i will show you exactly which plate i'm doing in the tutorial but um i'm gonna do this intro for both of them if i don't combine them together but i don't y'all know i don't love i don't like to do long videos because i don't I, I don't have the patience to watch long videos so anyway i will be back with the tutorial on how i made these chargers 
I love you guys. I want you to always remember to be your own kind of beautiful. And I stay subscribe. tuned for the video. Oh, and as your Corey says. Subscribe. Thank you. And leave a like. All right. I'll be back. Hey, my beauties, this is the beginning of my um, gym uh, charger I'm doing. As you can see, I started the first row. And also, I wanted to show you guys this. These are like smaller gyms because the gyms are different sizes. And so, I set the smaller gyms to the side. So, that way, when I get ready to close it off, I will have some smaller gems versus the bigger gems. As you can see, some of them are, they're different size, as you can see. And some of them are oval-shaped. So the ones that aren't perfectly round and that are oval-shaped, I set them to the side. So that way I can, um, I'll be able to maneuver the close, closing it up. And for this one, I'm actually using um, a hot glue gun. I used my beacons. I have found this awesome, awesome glue. It's called beacons. I will insert a picture up at the top. But you guys, this glue is like a combination between a super glue and E6000. So I will be back when, once I've done my second row and show you what it looks like. Okay, when you start off, you will notice you got some bigger spaces here. I'm personally not doing anything with my bigger spaces. Um, Sharon put some pinheads in hers. And I'm probably just going to leave mine um, as is. Just because. Um, but I will also link her video down below so you can see how she did. But eventually, as you notice, it will start to come together. Your spaces will close up because your shapes are different and you're just eventually it's just going to close up so i will be back once i finish the second row uh -oh. so as you can see i started the third row now i'm going to show you with the third row you have to add your hot glue right here because as you can see the gems over they hang over just slightly and you don't want to put your um your hot glue all over the bottom of the gym like I well I did on the other um rolls and the reason being is because you'll have it over overhanging the actual charger plate so I'm gonna go ahead this is what we have so far okay and uh oh these are the matching napkin rings that will go with this charger set and these are made out of um shower rings i took two shower rings and glued them together and added the um stones around and then right here i put a piece of diamond wrap okay now you can use uh those big diamonds they're about this size you can use those or actually dollar tree has some gems that you could actually put right there that would i think would be really pretty um so, yeah, I'll be back when I finish the charger. Okay, so here's my finished product, and I want you to see right here. Right here was the end, and I had to literally space my gems, truthfully. Let me see if I can move this one a little bit different. I'll be right back. Okay, so, yeah, I did. I, re I moved it a little bit. Now, the gap isn't as big, and as you can... What is that? Oh, as you can see, it's completely finished. You do have some little spaces or whatever. I will link Sharon's video uh, down below where, like I said, she put in little gold pin heads. I'm not going to do that because the gold shows through from my actual charger plate. Sharon literally made hers completely from scratch. She um, cut the round uh, foam board and made her charges. Y'all, I'm not talented like that. Mine would have came out looking oblong and everything else. So I just took the charges from the Dollar Tree. And I added the stones to them. And I kept it moving. So um, this is the completed look for this one. And I will come back with the other one. 
that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Okay, that needs to be uh, redone. I'm actually going to use some of my beacons. Here's the beacons I was telling you about. It's beacons 527. And they also have a beacons 3-in-1 that actually holds your... Um, your glue, your uh, gems, and all your stuff really well, and it's a quick fix. Y'all, excuse my um, floor over here. I've been crafting, as I've showed you. As you can see from my area here, I've been crafting for a minute, so just excuse it. But anywho, this is my finished product, and I will be back so you can see the completed table look for this project. Okay, divas. Oh, goodness. This is my completed table. Okay, first of all, I want you to look at my table. The rug was $20 at the furniture store where we purchased our living room furniture. The table, the table and the six chairs with the insert over there was $50. This vase actually has a price tag of 10 but the lady gave it to me for five. I made the stand that it's on from two Dollar Tree waste baskets and a Dollar Tree plate. This picture was five dollars. I don't know if you can see that. These curtains, which are lined blackout curtains or um, heat curtains because they help keep your house cooler in the summertime, I got uh six of them for ten dollars the curtain at the top you guys i probably do not have it up there right okay because i am really curtains are not my thing okay but i got a whole box of curtains that have practically filled every room in my house for ten dollars so the those curtains you see the whole all three of them were all together um twenty dollars okay but it's much more than that um everything on the table this the blue table the blue blue bowl and plate came in a set it was a box full of dishes for six or eight dollars these goblins are from the dollar tree this is from the dollar tree everything this was given to me the uh, this part right here, I actually made. It was supposed to be a napkin ring, but I messed it up. The elephants, oh my goodness. You guys, uh-oh, look at these elephants. Okay, look at them, blue eyes. These are Dollar Tree toy elephants that I painted and blinged out and added the blue eyes to them. Okay, I absolutely love elephants. These I got at the Dollar Tree. I just painted the candle holders and added the tops to them. And they have the flickering candles from the Dollar Tree. These are the Dollar Tree candle holders. These are Dollar Tree glasses that I added the blue around the bottom just to go with the um, chargers. Again, here are the chargers. Napkin holders I made out of shower rings and the beads. And the only reason I'm just doing a four-play setting is because that is my household size. It's four people, okay? Also, these pictures, the two right here, the set, they were $7.99. And the two in the middle, it was actually three of them together. And they were either $1.99 or $2.99 a piece. The, the bottom one is crooked, y'all, but y'all know me. Anyway, my tablescape, again is inspired by um sharon she's so fabulous of course it is nowhere near as blinged out and fabulous as her table is but this is good for me okay um and i am balling on a budget okay you guys know that i made this this is um the full dollar tree mirror and the reason i left the gold part on is because of the goals that are all through my house um so yeah 
This is my dining area. I left the insert over there so you can see that the table does expand. This is my dining area. We do not, we have a formal dining room, but we use it as a den. So this is my, what I consider my formal dining area. So there you have it. The brooms on the wall are actually um, lilac bushes that were bought just, that's the only thing in this room that I actually paid full price for. They, I found them at Smith's, which is a, uh, um, a, a incinerary of Albertsons for $6.99 a piece. And they absolutely smell wonderful. They smell like lilac. So again, this is my dining area. This is part of the kitchen. You will get a kitchen tour as soon as I finish off the kitchen. But again, this is my dining area.